And now, live from Television Centre in London, Children's BBC is proud to present... Not you two, Blue Peter. studio and we'll be finding out whose side they're on in a minute. Later on I'll be celebrating the birthday of a very famous movie star. And we'll have all the details about our competition to design a new outfit of clothes for me. But all of these people aren't modelling new designs, they're members of the English Civil War Society. They recreate the battles that tore Britain apart over 300 years ago. Only these days they do it without hurting anyone. On Sunday they mark the 340th anniversary of the execution of their hero King Charles the First. The Civil War was fought between his loyal troops, known as the Cavaliers, and the Roundheads, led by Oliver Cromwell. Cromwell's side thought Charles was too powerful and tried to put the will of the Parliament before the will of the King. The war began in 1640 and included battles which have become famous, like Naseby and Edgehill. These battles ended in 1648 with the victory of Cromwell and the Roundheads. They put the King on trial, and on January the 30th, 1649, King Charles I was beheaded in Whitehall in London. Every year, people today, who today still support Charles I and think it was wrong that he was executed march along Whitehall in London past the spot where he died and lay a wreath at the foot of his statue near Trafalgar Square. Have a care! Face unto your right hand! Prepare to march! Well, Jeffrey, march on! Jeffrey Parker, as you can tell, is the commanding officer today. Jeffrey, what do you actually do, all of you? Well, I stand here and shout. <laughs> but uh, these people you can see marching up and down don't spend all their time marching up and down. Um, and we do appear all over the country, not just uh, on this coming Sunday in London. We stay on campsites the entire weekend and present battles with uh, more than a thousand people and small events in which we try and portray different aspects of 17th century life. And are you all real staunch Charles I supporters? We are. Anybody that joins the society knows from the outset whether they're going to be royalist or parliamentarian, and we are staunch royalists. And you have a good time, obviously. We have well. a very good time. <laughs> The army is divided into regiments wearing different colours and then into musketeers who carry the guns and pikemen who carry long spears called pikes. Now Steve White, you can probably tell by his pole, is a pikeman. Hi. What would a pikeman have done in battle? A pikeman in battle would have been carrying a proper length pike which would have been about 16 to 18 foot long. And his purpose would have been to be a mobile barricade to protect the musketeers. The musketeers take a long time to reload. We would have fought off the cavalry and any opposing infantry that were, might have come onto the scene. Now these are really vicious. Would this have been like razor sharp? It would have been. A real one would have been a simple blade on the top with long strips of metal going back about three foot to present cavalry from chopping off the ends. Well, I'm, all I can say is I'm glad I never came up against them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Looks a bit nasty to me. Pikes weren't the only way the King's army attacked or defended itself, though. This regiment has even got a cannon. A small one, though. Yeah, this is the smallest of about 20 cannon we use on the field, uh, ranging from this up to the barrack, which is uh, an eight foot long barrel, six inch bore, and it's the uh, largest firing smoothbore cannon in Europe. So this one's much more tame? Oh yes, it's, uh, it goes with a crack so rather than a bang. So you actually fire it on the day? Oh yes, we fire it on the field. Why do you do this? Because it's good fun. And you like dressing up in all the costumes? Well, I'll, I'll make the costume, so you know. Did I'm you make this yourself? Of course, yes. Oh, you can tell. No, I don't mean. <laughs> you look great, you look good. <laughs> Most wonderful. Good luck with this year's march. Yeah. And they'll be in white in the centre of London this Sunday morning. And you can see the army in action when they go into battle on the bank holiday at the end of May at Marble Hill in Richmond, Surrey. 
And now, stand by, railway enthusiasts, for a tale of bogies, rolling stock and steam engines. It all takes place at a special location in Devon.